so I, I one of the things uh, I appreciate in the technology that I've studied and learned for the last few years, and I've said it is, uh, I I really don't know much. Uh, you don't know if to know to know that you don't know is the beginning. It says Lao Tzu, or it's the best, or it's simple. And I've said it for years. I do, I know that I don't know much. I look out at life and I'm relatively curious about it. Uh, when I go and I start to connect the dots, as my sister calls it, in, this, in the system she's working in, she calls it connecting the dots, which is where your mind goes, oh, this means that, and that means that, and therefore this is that. And it's all a bunch of uh, horse hockey, uh, quite frankly. It's, uh, so I think one of the things that really assisted me going into this Zen Buddhist retreat was the fact that uh, I knew that I didn't know. And uh, I didn't know how to meditate. And when they told me to just sit and look for the answer, I could sit and just look for the answer. I didn't have a script that I had to do or anything that I had to follow. I would find myself doing some of the mantras that I'd learned over the years, or I would find myself doing Buddhist prayers. And then I had the discipline to say, no, that's not what I've been asked to do. What I've been asked to do is find the answer. And the interesting thing uh, was just the number of synchronicities that happened within the contents, context of this entire event. Uh, my roommate, who I spent some time with, because I spent so much time in this meditative hall, I just I couldn't really get out of it. I don't know why. I just uh, you know, was intent on being in there and, and getting the job done that they asked me to get done. Uh, was is a Canadian. Uh, I had met him on the bus trip there. Uh, and then somehow we ended up in the same room together, Alan. And it's actually his apartment that he's let us rent, uh, which is so unsold. Uh, again, we're way up in the woods. Uh, you can walk up into the woods, and it, when you walk back into Seoul, when there's millions of people in Seoul, you just don't get where you are until you get back in there. But we came up to look at the apartment earlier this week and met his girlfriend, a Korean girl, beautiful gal. And he got laughing. He said, come here, come here, come here, look at this. He said, look, at my girlfriend was reading this book when I left. And she showed it to me and said that she was reading it. But I didn't get it until I got back and realized what book she was reading. And he handed me a book in Korean. And on the back of it is the author. And the author is this young Korean monk who translated for us all week. Uh, his girlfriend was... Uh, reading this book, had just picked it up from the bookstore. It's a national bestseller here in Korea. Uh, she picked it up and started reading it, not knowing that this that he was going to be translating at this Buddhist center. And it just added to kind of the synchronicities. Uh, Alan fortunately worked very, very hard and had a great experience. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to talk to him about it. Uh, again, I did talk to Nicole. I want her to talk to y'all about it. Uh, but he... Uh, uh, he got it. He got the synchronicity, the silliness of the, the randomness of the universe that his girlfriend would have picked up the book that was by the monk who was translating for us. I wanted to get I wanted to get that little point of synchronicity across and I talked about it, got close in an earlier video but missed it. So uh, have fun. Uh, enjoy your life. Uh, if this is the only blip of consciousness you have, uh, enjoy the shit out of it. If this is a lifetime that is continuous, enjoy the shit out of it. www.micpeakperformance.com